This is the Roulette Master, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. Also, ring that bell for notifications because I have new content releasing every single day of the week at 8 a.m. And for today's video, I'm going to do a follow-up on the video I did yesterday because there was so much interest, and I had some questions from people and um, want to play a little bit longer as well. And uh, let me know again what you guys think of this system. It's a cross between, it um, starts out with Martingale with Play Like a Pro system, and then it modifies into D. Lambert once you get past three um, or, or $30 for the bets, whether you play with starting with a dollar or $10. And I'll go over all that again for those of you seeing this for the first time. And we're going to start with $10 bets. We're using Play Like a Pro system, which is we're going to play the six outside bets and have two things to always bet against. So in this situation, we have a 29 and a 16, so we have to spend without betting. So we have two to bet against. And you don't have to do that very often because there's six outside bets. And now we have two blacks, so we could bet on red. And we have two odds, so we could also bet on even. So let's go ahead and bet on even to start for $10. And when you have losses with this, you go 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50. And I'll go over how the DeLambert um, kicks in after the 30 here again. Uh, just like in the last video and answer some of your questions. We lost the first one at 10. So that means we're going to 20, and we've had three odds in a row, so let's go even for 20. So the only one that doubles is the first one. And when you play normal play like a pro, it's doubling every single time. Okay, so we won, and anytime you win on 10, 20, or 30, you go back to 10. And then if you go past 30, we switch to DeLambert, and I'll show you how that goes when we get there here uh, pretty soon. Let's see, we have a 24 and a 3. That means we need to um, spin without betting. And sometimes you can go a long time without having to spin without betting, but now we have a 36 and 24, so we can either bet odd or we can bet 1 to 18. I hope you see what I'm doing there, betting against the, the last two. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go with uh, 1 to 18 for 10. The reason we're at 10 is because anytime you win at 10, 20, or 30, you go back to 10 with this system. Okay, we won. So now we're up $20. And we can either bet on, well, yeah, black is the only one we can bet on on this one. So $10 on black. Okay, now we go to 20. Let's stay on black. Okay, we got it. So we go back to 10. Now, the way this goes is 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50. But once you get past 30, then you start using the DeLambert system which means you don't go all the way back to 10 on losses. You just go one up when you lose, one back down when you win. And then once you get back down to 30, if you get a win at 30, you go back to 10. So I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, you can see we won that last one. So we're back to $10 starting bet. And we have to spend without betting again, it looks like. This is... Uh, more than normal. I think this is our third time doing this, but um, at least it, it gives you two things to bet against. And now we have two low numbers and two blacks, so we can either bet red or we can bet 19 to 36. Um, let's go red. We're up $30 right now. And right now we, ha we haven't seen the DeLambert part of this yet, but um, if we get a few losses here, um, you'll see it. We lost at 10, so now we go to 20. Anytime with this system, if you hit a zero, you always spend twice to uh, get a fresh set of numbers. So there's one. And here's the second one. 
that keeps you from losing on multiple zeros and uh, so we have two reds and two odds so we could go even or we could go black so let's go ahead and go black and here we go okay and I think I actually messed that last one up because I think we were we'd already lost one so I should have been at 20 so we're actually on 30 now and let's go to black sorry about that everybody makes mis little mistakes every once in a while though okay so we hit it now if we had lost on 30 we would have went to the first 40 but then we would have been into Lambert. Um, since we won at 30, we go back to 10. And um, again, the only part that's Martingale is the first one from 10 to 20. And then 20 to 30 um, is just uh, an increase of a unit. And then after 30, we go up one back, and then up one on uh, losses, back one on wins until you get to that 30. And let's see we have a 4 and a 23 I think we have to spin without betting again the reason this is a good system is because when you play martingale play like a pro you lose and you use ten dollar starting bets you um, lose thirteen hundred dollars if you bust and with this system if you lost all of them in a row you would only lose just over two hundred dollars so um, and you might be less than that if you are already up uh, before that happens so um, a couple of people asked me from yesterday what happens he goes 10 20 30 40 40 50 50 they said what happens after the second 50 and um, what JJ trader said was that he just stops and either starts over or uh, quits for the day so the good thing about that is if you do have a bad sequence playing and um, then you can just um, you can either stop for the day, come back, or if you and if you lose, you're only out a couple hundred bucks, as opposed to thirteen hundred dollars if you were playing play like a pro Martingale. So um, definitely think about that. And now we have two black in a row. We can we also have two low in a row. Let's go nineteen to thirty six for ten. I'll try not to make any more mistakes. Sometimes when I'm talking, I lose track of what I'm doing. But we'll get back on track here. Okay, we won 19 to 36. And let's see. Now we can go red. Yeah, red's the only one we can do now. Okay, we won that one. And let's see. Now we have a 36 a 24 and we can bet low or we can go to odd let's see we're up sixty dollars now let's go let's go with low numbers 1 to 18 okay we lost there so we go to 20 now let's stay on 1 to 18 Okay, we want it 20, so we go back to 10. And let's see, we need to spin without betting again. Sorry if you hear my animals in the background, they're being kind of uh, re reckless today. We've had a lot of flooding where I live this week, and uh, I don't think they've been outside much. Okay, so as you can see there, it's time to bet again. We have one and twelve, so we can go. We can go black, or we can go nineteen to thirty-six. Let's go ahead and go black for ten. And hopefully, here in a minute, we'll get into that Delambert part of the system once you get past thirty. If not, I'll simulate it for you. And we lost there, so we go to twenty. 
All right, let's stay on black one more time at least. Okay, we lost that one. So now we go to 30. Again, it's 10, 20, 30. And let's go, I'll stay on black because actually I want to lose this one so that I can show you uh, the, the Lambert part of it. I'm sensing another red, which I was right. <laughs> so um, now we're going to forty dollars, and now we're in the Delambert part of the system, and you can see that took a hit on our earnings. So um, that's why we have to work our way back down. And the Delambert, we're on our first first of two forties, and then two fifties. So let's stay on uh, black again and go for our first forty. Okay, and we lost. We're on to our second 40. And we can either go, if we want to switch it up, we can go even. Or we can go, or we can go keep, stay with black. Let's go, um, let's try black one more time. Before we go into 50s. Okay, and we got it. So we went on our second 40. So now we're into Lambert, so we go back to our first 40. So we can either, looks like we have to go low on this one if we're using Play Like a Pro. And so we've gone backwards from the second 40 to the first 40. Okay, and we lost that one. So now we're back to the second 40 again. And let's uh, go 1 to 18 again. we lost again so now we're on to the first 50 you can see we're down $70 because we're getting near the end of the to Lambert but we have two more and that's one thing I'd like to hear from you guys about um, since JJ system stops with the second 50 um, how would you modify that to keep going uh, please leave that down in the comments but right now we're on the first 50 and we can either go low I think we have to go low, actually. I don't think there's any other to bet against right now. So let's go with the first 50 here. And we lost again. We have one more 50 chance. And we can, yeah, we still have to go low because we don't have anything else. Let's give it a shot. This is a good idea. Since, since he says that he busts after the second 50, this will be a good determination of how much you would lose. Because basically, he says he would have busted right there where we were at. So that's at, um, that's basically minus 170. So let's keep going with, with the system, though, and let's experiment a little bit. So let's go past the first 50 and go to 260s and see what happens okay and let's um let's do our two spins and to get a fresh start after a zero but i'm glad we had a little bit uh, losing session there so that you can see the good and the bad but i still think there's a modification here that we can use to climb back out we haven't lost that much really i mean 170 and compared to what you lose in Martingale at 1300 uh, with normal play like a pro if you lose so we have we can go red or we can go actually red's it right now so um so let's jump to 60 because we lost at both 50s let's try this modification to keep going um up okay we lost the first 60 and then Okay, so we can either go low or we can go red. Let's go low for 60. And we lost that one. We should have went with red. Now let's go to 70 and see what happens. Now this goes against what JJ has been saying, which would mean... He said we should be done after the second 50 if we lose with that $170 loss. 
And we're going to find out if that's um, the way to go or not. Right now it looks like it is the way to go, but uh, let's keep going here. Let's go to even. And we're on to 70. And we lost again. Okay. Well, let's we can either go even or black. Okay, let's go even for our second 70. But now we're down 360. Okay, so if we're going to use the Lambert now, we have to go backwards um, to 60 now. And we can go black or low. Let's go low for our second 60. Oh, but we lost that one too. Okay, so we're back to 70 again. And let's try low again. Down 350. Okay, we got it. Okay, so we're back to 60 again. We can go, let's go odd. So we have three of those in a row. Okay, we got that. So let's go to our first 60 now. In our first 60, let's go ahead and we need to spin without betting. We don't have anything to bet against on this one. Okay, so what do we have now? A 19 and 23. We can go black or we can go even. Um, let's go black. And we lost. So back to 70. And let's go our, do our two spins at what we do after we hit a zero. Get a fresh set of numbers out there. Okay, so now we have two odds. Let's go even for 70. Now, it sounds like JJ would have stopped, lost the 170, and then started the system over. So, after losing at 70 there, we're on to our second 70. That's not a bad idea. But let's see if we can pull ourselves out of here. We're on our second 70. Let's go to even. Okay, now we're on to 80 if we're going to continue this. And so let's go even for 80. We're on a bad streak here. Okay, we got that. Now we're on to our second 70. And let's go uh, black. We got to work our way back down. Okay, we got the second one. So we're on our first 70 now. And we could go low. I bet against those last two high numbers. And if we could get this one, we could go back from 70 to the second 60. And let's go... Um, see we would need to go odd to bet against those last two evens okay we lost that so we're back to 70 again minus 260 let's put the 70 well we'd have to go either high or um, odd let's go high And actually, we're back up to 70 now. Lost that one. Back up to the second 70. Let's go high again. And we've had really bad luck, but we're still nowhere near what 
it would have cost us if we had lost in Martingale. So now we're back to the first 70. And let's go. We need to spin without betting on this one. To, for you to use play like a pro, right? And let's see what we get here. Okay, so we're on our first 70. And we need to go on because we need to bet against those last two evens. And we lost again, so we're on to that uh, second 70 again. And let's go on. And we need to get on a roll here if we're gonna get back down in the DeLambert system. We gotta get back to 30 to restart over. Okay, so we're back to our first 70 now. And um, we need to spend without betting. Yeah, and this first 70, we need to spend one more time. We still don't have anything to bet against in the six outside bets. So now we have a 10 and a 32. We can bet on first 70. Okay, we got it. So now we're on to the second 60. And let's go 19 to 36. And we lost that. So we're back to 70. Oh, man, uh, really bad, but we're only down 250 after all this mess. So let's do 70, the first 70 on 19 to 36. And lost again. So we're on to our second 70 now. Let's go 19 to 36 again. And we hit the dreaded zero again. So now we're going two spins without betting to get fresh numbers. So now we're down 390, and we're on that second 70. Um, at this point, we still we'd have to go red. Now we're on to 80, and let's go even instead of red. for $80. And if you have a better modification for this, I'd really like to see it. Uh, I'm just trying something a little different because I know a lot of people asked about um, what to do after the second 50 loss, but it looks like, J at this point, it looks like JJ was right that you just take the loss and you start back over. It says that was a 170 loss. And uh, we're on to our second 80. Let's go to even. And this really isn't turning out well. So um, let's go ahead and say JJ was right that when you're we were down 170 after the second 50 loss, we should have started over again. And um, good work, JJ, saying that. But if any of you have a modification that would work better than continuing JJ's progression further, please let me know down in the comments. And um, this is I still really like this system. I just think um, I got a little bit. Uh, uh, trying to trying to find a modification past the second 50. I got a little bit um, uh, too greedy there and uh, should have stuck with JJ's original system. But you never know. There might There's probably a better modification out there, and I can't wait to hear from you guys. So please send that in along with any other systems that you come up with, and I'll showcase them on the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please uh, hit that red subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. Also ring that bell for notifications because I have new content releasing every single day of the week at 8 a.m. And this is the Roulette Master, and have a great day.